Hello everyone. In this high link shorts, I am going to tell you about multiple sclerosis, which is a demyelinating disorder, which means there will be a damage of which cell oligodendrocytes. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder. Commonly, female will be affected, and there are three important etiologies. One is autoimmunity. Second is infection by Epstein Barr virus, and third is the interleukin two and interleukin seven receptor polymorphism. pathogenesis of multiple sclerosis is both b cell and t cell mediated damage in this what we will observe that b cells are forming oligoclonal igg band on csf examination which is a non specific finding and t cells when you will see the involvement of t cell th1 and th17 both will be affected and what will happen th1 will activate the interferon gamma interferon gamma will activate macrophage and this will cause oligodendrocyte damage TS17 cells what they will do they will release interleukin 17 and this will recruit neutrophil and macrophage which will be causing destruction of the myelin so what we are observing there is a oligodendrocyte damage there is a myelin damage and this is a demyelinating disorder because of the involvement of the T cells and how we are going to see that demyelination we can observe this with a special stain called as luxal fast blue stain luxal fast blue stain there will be a characteristic periventricular pattern of pallor right which we are going to observe in the multiple sclerosis and why this pallor will happen because of the damage of the myelin sheath right so here you can see in this picture there is a ventricle and around the ventricle you can see there is a pale area so these are the two pale areas usually luxal fast blue normal myelin will be showing you dark blue color like this but here you can see there is a pallor because of loss of myelin right so this is a luxal fast blue staining where we are seeing loss of myelin here at the marked areas right which is around the ventricle and this is characteristic periventricular demyelination which we will see in multiple sclerosis what are the clinical finding we are going to observe three important triad we are going to observe number one is optic neuritis which will be unilateral and in this you will find impaired vision in the patient brain stem finding will be ataxia nystagmus and internuclear ophthalmoplegia and a spinal cord will be showing you motor neuron involvement which will be reflected as a spasticity or bladder dysfunction enjoy learning keep learning keep watching all these high yielding shots best wishes for you